Welcome to my home, everybody. So we're doing a little tour for you all that you've been waiting for. This is the guest bathroom where my friends obviously use when they come to stay with me or for a party or just to have dinner at my house. In here, we have the laundry and it's very rare in New York actually to have a, um, a washer and dryer in your apartment. So I'm grateful for that. Could not live without it. And then in here, it's like the shelf cupboard, right? Like we don't open that. Um, and then we've got this statement Bellwood cabinet, which I love as an entryway. Actually, a little trick for you guys is the globe in here is battery operated because there's actually no power points on this wall. So we can't plug it in, but it's great because I don't ever really turn this light on except if I'm having like a party or guest over where I want it to look fancy. And then in here, I kind of have all my like little bits and pieces that we need for around the house shit. Like it's just one of those like storage places. And then, of course, we've got this gorgeous entryway seat. Perfect for putting shoes on. Jelly likes to rub himself against it. Whatever floats your boat, it's fine. <laughs> and then coming in, we have the beautiful open living and dining and kitchen area, which I'm obsessed with. This island bench is such a vibe. It actually um, like moves like that, which is really cool. Um, and I just love as I've created so many so many like seating areas in my house, or I shouldn't say I, my two designer has. So we've got the seating area obviously at the end of the bench, hence this is actually always kept open because I like the extra space and um, I love being able to sit here. Everything is Miele appliances. All the glasses are up here. We've got some beautiful graphics up there for some fun dishwasher fridge, double freezer, and then a big pantry and storage area. Lots of storage under there. And of course, in true New York fashion, we have a wine fridge. Because how can any New York person live without alcohol? Um, then we come into the living area. Yes, it is a white sofa, but honestly, I'm not that pedantic about it. And I got this sofa just kind of knowing that I might need to get it reupholstered in a year or two's time, which I am totally fine with. And my friends know not to bring red wine over, especially when we're having parties, because that would be a disaster. Um, also, we made sure that the rug was peer proof in case my puppy decides to be a rebel one time, take a shit, vomit, whatever he needs to do. There he is. Um, everything is, all, all the, um, the rugs in the house are jelly proof. This coffee table is obviously to die for. I love whatever this situation is. I am not an interior designer, but it's, it looks beautiful. And I wanted the sofa to be like pillow central as well. I'm all about the cozy vibes whilst also keeping it sensual, chic, luxury, bougie, all that good stuff. This chair is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, I mean, I don't need to describe it. It speaks for itself. A beautiful velvet accent chair in a burnt orange color. Just sit in the chair, have a cup of tea and look at the view every morning so yeah. so this is my dream office space big glass desk very 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 masculine vibes which i wanted it to be like that was the intention for it um, this this uh, sofa also doubles as a sofa bed. So if I have someone coming to stay for the night, then my little Pilates area as well. I do Pilates here every morning. And obviously the beautiful, beautiful bar cabinet, which is just a dream to have in the back of your Zoom calls. And then we have a second bathroom in here. Nothing amazing another bathroom so I also get to hang my laundry in here so coming through we then have 
Oh wait, we have the dining table? No. Mm -hmm. Then we have the dining table, which we've gone back before. So back to the dining area, the dining table, this piece of glass was a challenge to get, but we got it in the end um, with these beautiful base pieces and black boucle dining chairs. I wanted statement dining chairs, which I got. And my designer is all about the functionality, not just the looks. And that's that, um, that big seat in the cabinet, in, in the corridor, is actually the same seat as these, a lot, just a longer version, which is great because it means for big dinners that I have, I actually can fit three more people at this table because three people can fit on that um, bench, which is great. Gallery wall for all the vibes, makes you want to travel, makes you feel inspired. I am a photography girl over a painting girl, so I love photographs. And then coming through here, we have my cabin style bedroom, or cabin inspired bedroom. This beautiful calf skin um, entryway rug is to die for, I love it. And then we have obviously my beautiful bed. Um, this bench I'm obsessed with, um, it's just stunning. And the whole kind of energy and inspiration of this place was to try and bring some mountain vibes and a bit of a cabin feeling into my very city home and Jelly likes to bury his pig's ears in my pillows so he very much enjoys that. And then another seating area because you can never have too many seating areas is this boucle swivel chair. I like to put my laptop up here and take more casual calls sitting in my bedroom just for a little bit of a change of scenery when I feel like I need it. Um, and then in here we have my walk-in wardrobe. Um, I'm waiting for more clothes from London but it is a great space, lots of storage. And then this is my stunning bathroom huge bathtub which is fantastic these are her sinks there is a toilet in this one and there's a shower in here and then we come back out big storage cupboard and then we come back out to this beautiful space and I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. That is my beautiful New York home. We still have a few little bits and pieces like artwork and that kind of stuff to sort out on some of the bigger walls. But I know that you guys have been waiting so long to see the apartment and I've been waiting so long to show you the apartment. It is my dream New York City apartment, like full fucking manifestation. And I'm very grateful to call it my home. you guys of as well is that I was very strict on my non-negotiables when I was looking for an apartment and I did not shy away from saying no to apartments that did not have everything on my list so I would encourage you to do that and don't forget also there's going to be a link below which will have the link to another longer video that I did it was a sit down video and it literally walks you guys through the whole process that I had to go through to actually get this apartment so from like the application process to like condo stuff in New York and it just kind of breaks it all down for you because New York real estate is a whole other like universe to say at least. Anyway, so I was very clear on my non-negotiables and I got them all in this beautiful space. So my non-negotiables were that I wanted to have a really large living and dining area with really high ceilings. I mean, high ceilings and open windows is literally written on my fucking birth chart. I'm a double stage rising Gemini. And according to my birth chart, that even knows I need a lot of open space. Anyway, so these ceilings are like three feet high, which is really fucking high, especially for New York. I was very clear also when I wanted an amazing view, I got that. I wanted floor to ceiling windows, I got that. Veranda, I got that. I wanted a big bathtub that was separate to the shower and like a deep one. A lot of bathtubs in New York are like this fucking big. Um, I got that, I got three bathrooms, which is obviously amazing to have that guest bathroom that's beautiful as well as a spare bathroom. I wanted my office to also have a view and my bedroom to have a view and obviously every room here as you guys have seen, they all have beautiful views. I wanted an open living and dining space 
that allowed me to fit in a big dining table so I could have guests and host dinner parties and also a big lounge area. Plus I wanted a big kitchen because I love to cook and I wanted an island bench. Like I am like an island bench psycho. I feel like if there's not an island bench, you can't entertain. Like kitchens no longer become sexy. I also like to have sex on my island bench, so that too. Um, what else did I really strict on? I also wanted to be in a beautiful building that I felt really safe in, that had high security and that had a beautiful amenities and this one definitely does. And I feel like they were all of my main non-negotiable. I did want a fireplace, but that is really hard to come by in New York. I actually did find an apartment with a fireplace, um, but it needed so much work on the inside and it didn't have the view. And I was more, like I, I wanted a view more than I wanted a fireplace. So I settled without the fireplace, which I'm totally fine with. There are beautiful hotels here that have amazing open fireplaces anyway to enjoy in winter. Um, but I got everything else and I was really happy that I didn't settle for apartments that were like okay. And then I kept looking and kept looking and kept looking. But as Carrie Bradshaw says in Sex in the City, finding the perfect New York apartment can be like finding the perfect man. It can take years sometimes. <laughs> um, okay, last little reminder is you can follow me on Instagram, Monica Gates Health. This isn't my usual content, but I guess anything that's like a vibe is my content. And you guys are desperate to see the beautiful home that I manifested. So hence the video. Um, that's my Instagram, my podcast is feminine as fuck. Jelly's Instagram, obviously he wants to be in it. Jelly's Instagram is jelly the bougie pooch. Um, all the other details of how to follow me and absorb more of my content is below. Make sure that you please subscribe, as cheesy as that sounds. And do not forget to watch the other video on how I manifested the apartment and all of the inside details because it is quite the process getting an apartment in New York City.